don't sit at home this weekend. Get out and enjoy your days off with events happening all around the state. Here's Ashley Erling with our Eye on Our Eye. As we enter the next phase of reopening, many more attractions are now open to the public. The Waterfire Arts Center has reopened with limited hours. There you can see their beacon of hope in person. The installation is a solitary illuminated water fire brazier surrounded by a field of luminaria, each memorializing a Rhode Island soul lost to COVID-19. The installation can also be viewed online 24 hours a day. If you do decide to head to the Art Center, be sure to visit the Gallery 2 for more artwork. The Audubon Society is now offering small group explorations. Get up close with some cool critters, take a walk to the shore, or check out some of their evening programs like Bats and Beer. Yep, you heard that right. All visitors must bring a mask and advanced registration is required. While we wait for the return of more athletic events, why not check out the International Tennis Hall of Fame in Newport? It's now open once again to guests. You can visit Thursday through Sunday from 10 to 3 and check out their impressive exhibit galleries as well as the historic grounds that make up the complex, including those famed grass courts. To check out the specific hours of operation for all of these attractions, head to roadshow.com.